Thanks for coming to the Fox 7 Austin YouTube channel and checking out our exclusive digital show, The Good Day Austin Roundup. I am the digital content manager here, Donnie, and I'm joined by members of our Good Day Austin team, anchor Amanda, meteorologist Zach, and features reporter Tierra, who's joining right. us. Yeah. She was in one of our very first roundups for okay. all you big roundup fans right. out yeah. there. She and her, uh, her, me and Jane. What happened? Did you scare her off? I'm, like, I'm not going back yes. on there. Yeah, Tara was Did like, bribe me. Thank, no thanks. Like, no, no. Now she's always on, you know? She's just always out. Always bopping around town. Yeah. You guys know. Mm -hmm. All right, before we uh, talk about what happened on Good Day, I'm going to hijack the segment here and show you some cool weather videos. Now, the weather has been wild coast to coast. So, Donnie, I guess it's been really easy to find. Yes, it has been very easy weather to find video. good weather video. What do you think this video is out of? Mm, In probably, January, think about it. Tornado, January. Looks like a cornfield. I'm thinking Iowa. <sighs> Oklahoma. You really, look, look at the video. You think that, okay. Yeah, hard to believe that we had a tornado all the way up into Iowa. So, Tierra, you won. Oh, look at that. I know. Uh, which is uh, one of the spots in the U.S. that has seen some of the severe weather lately. Uh, you're looking at video near Williamsburg, which is about five miles from Conroy. If you're familiar with that area, you have been there before. Great town, great town. Footage shows that it appears to be a dark funnel cloud. Uh, the National Weather Service did issue a tornado warning in that area. Thank goodness it stayed out in the middle of nowhere and no one was injured. Is that close to where your family's from? Uh, you know? I was born in Okaboji, Iowa. I've never heard of that area. So, have you never heard of Conroy? Oh, what have you heard of Okaboji? You're like, okay. <laughs> okay. Now, okay. Uh, head down I to learned Texas. Something today. Okay, yeah. cool. Yeah. All right, another part of the U.S. seeing some extreme and dangerous weather. California, they continue to get on and off big storm systems. Uh, look at this lake near San Francisco. Wow. Yeah, that, they're releasing water from one of the dams there. Kind of looks like a scene we'd have around here in the springtime, right here in Central Texas. Uh, so they are waterlogged out there in California. And they put a big dent in their drought. They went from exceptional drought to just moderate drought. And here in the next couple of weeks, they'll probably be drought free. They have the wettest 22 day period since January 14th, 1862. That's crazy. Wow. Picked up a couple feet of rain. Another part of the Bay Area, a section of road collapsed after all that rainfall. And they're seeing uh, mudslides, rock slides, and now roads disappearing here. A uh, local fire department showing parts of the asphalt uh, being pushed down. Oh, oh there it goes. Wow. wow. Crazy that that can just happen. I know. Yeah. That is frightening. Yeah, the right? ground's very wet underneath the road. If it's not very stable, it'll start to go, and then the road will go. Yeah. yeah and my I, stomach drop. Could that ever happen here? There's a lot of other videos here? like sinkholes and stuff, too, out mm -hmm. there. Yeah. Really? Sorry, what did you say, Amanda? No, if that could happen here. Oh, do we don't have that we kind did, of ground? We had a uh, sinkhole no, a while back, right? Or not a sinkhole. Um, it's very hard because it's so rocky here. Yeah. Okay. There was that house, remember, that was on the side that was kind mm -hmm. of... Oh, yeah, that's right. I don't remember if it was rain or if it was just... Yeah. I think it's yeah. over time, though. It doesn't happen just a five-year Like that, period. right. Yeah. Yeah. It takes years. All right, let's go to Arizona, where snow was an issue as winter storms battered the area. This is video out of Flagstaff. Look how pretty that is. National Weather Service said total snowfall for the area over the several days reached 30 inches. There's some spots in the Sierra that picked up 100 to 300 inches of snow. Wow. In the last several weeks. It's crazy to me that there's snow in Arizona. I know, I know the northern I part, right? I think that too. Yeah. I'm like, yeah. wait, snow in Arizona, this doesn't make sense. Yeah. You just think like it's pretty cacti, desert. like, mm -hmm. you know, desert. Sun, red. Desert, sun, yes, hot. Desert. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Northern part of Arizona. All right, let's go back to California now for another weather video. But this one is all about having fun Aww. in the snow. Residents west of Lake Tahoe Cute. in the upper elevations had to dig out of 10 inches of snow. Uh, this video out of Truckee from one person shows her dogs Bruno and Beverly jumping around and enjoying themselves. Having fun. And dogs love snow. Oh, they're loving it. Except mine it. for some reason. Bo doesn't like snow? Mine no. loves snow. Mine That's because he's it. a little dog, that, though. Yeah, when we had yeah, that snowfall, she thing. loved it. <laughs> you imagine and if you see, but our little there? me and Amanda's little dogs love the snow. Oh, she loves the snow. And Mikey, my son, he would he he made snowballs and he'd throw the ball at oh, she Maple. Was like, <laughs> she's like, where is it? Where is it? Where'd it go? This is the, the best video ever. It's just good memories. Okay, now to Colorado, where officers worked with uh, driving instructors to prepare for icy and snow-covered so roadways by whoa. By driving on a frozen lake, oh. Broomfield police showed a police car sliding across Georgetown Lake, leaving a trail of snow in its wake. The department said the footage showed an officer working on regaining and keeping control of a patrol car as it spins out. Yeah, apparently that's how they... So this is practice? Or, yeah, yeah, according to what the stuff I was reading was there, just kind of practicing on how to be able to control how it to in navigate? the icy conditions. You yeah. know? I know so that's train, training. training. Training, but man, oh, that looks there. like fun. 
Weather right, videos we, from all over the country. Wow. Yeah. 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 And we end some. We end with some pics from Amanda, who has some uh, photos of her time off recently. Not yes. snow stuff. No, not pretty. snow. So oh Zach, gosh. I was on the uh, Caribbean coast, uh, Mexico's oh, you were Caribbean to show coast, this last in Tulum. Week. <laughs> I was sick last Donnie week. Donnie got really mad. I know. Oh, okay. So, so I so show. I'm laying I'm laying on the beach right in our yeah, little yeah, beach yeah. bed, and I see this. And I think, wow. oh my gosh, what is this? I don't yeah. remember the name of it. And I thought, I've got to take some pictures and show it to Zach, because Zach will be able to describe the clouds. And That's pretty neat. You see, look at the, yeah, see, see how, how how flat the, yeah. the cloud, I mean, I don't, I don't know the That's meaning. It's like a huge storm, little twist that. coming down. Yeah, what is yeah. the little twist? It's a water spout. Okay. It's a tornado on water. That's what I thought. Yep. Really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So is there any differences between those two clouds? You know how there's like two kind of cloud lines? Like there's the big ones at the top, and then it looks like there's like another kind of line of clouds on the bottom? Or is that just my eyes? That's just the base of the cloud. Okay. The oh, because it looks dark. like almost like it's two separate no, things. No. Then yeah. you have the, you know, underneath it's dark because the sunlight can't penetrate through it. Mm -hmm. So that's why you have the dark clouds on top. They're white because the sun's hitting it. Oh, but you had such a dreamy vacation. I did. Look at that water. That's I know. A, yeah, the water was water. nice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I like those two people in the water didn't seem to care about that water spout. <laughs> they were yeah. just like, we're going to have a vacation. I'd be going crazy. <laughs> 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 well, then that's just it. I mean, out, look at it. Yeah, and I was, I mean, I had stayed up late the night before, and as soon as I saw it, I got to go get the pictures because, yeah. you know, we talk about them all the time. I'd never seen it Sometimes before. in Florida, you can have five or six at a time out yeah. there. So. So, it, pretty was, cool. it was pretty cool. Okay, now let's check out some of the segments and stories you may have missed. Um, you're getting a look to get organized this new year. We got a chance to get some tips from Methodized Austin and Melissa Young. She had tips that included making organizing a regular task, identifying what works, valuing your time, and if it doesn't bring you joy, let go of it, and then prioritize what you need to or organize. Maybe pick something for the week, whether it's a drawer, a closet, a closet again, another drawer, and uh, make it happen. Garage. It's a work in progress. Yeah, garage. we um, we picked our our garage this past weekend on Saturday. It, it went well. It's it's all cleared out. Amazing. I, yeah. So um, there's a whole lot left in the house that still needs to be organized, but one thing at a time, like Same. you said. I'm a work in progress. I did my leggings drawer last weekend. First I know of all, it's just wild. She has an entire drawer full of leggings. I was like, I was <laughs> like, I was like you have so many leggings. Yeah. You have a drawer for it. Uh, in right. my defense, there are a lot of my younger sister's hand me downs, <laughs> but I'll take it. Um, but yeah, I mean, we've got cloth. I want to do literally like one thing a week mm -hmm. and just yeah. be like so organized and decluttered and minimalistic by the mm -hmm. end of 23 that like. New year, new me. Yeah. That's my goal, I guess. No, that's a good one. Heard it here first. I, wouldn't, I want to take things off the walls. I think we have too okay. many pictures on the walls that just don't bring me joy. That will help you feel yeah. decluttered, too. I think so, too. I feel like too many Picture things Picture your kids? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, gone. Take those down. Gone. <laughs> okay, maybe not those pictures. Okay, good. <laughs> Uh, One of the two yes restaurants it came to our studio to give Good Day Austin Weekend anchor Libby Faro and meteorologist Adelie Rowe a taste of their food. Dip Dip Tatsuya is a Japanese style shabu shabu where everyone gets their own individual hot pot. Items they brought in included a blue crab infused with squid ink and a duck breast, which has a candle made with duck fat. Hmm. The restaurant is located on Burned Road, and you can get details in the link below this video. Yeah, I didn't quite understand what the candle is for. Can you eat the candle? Well, it's duck fat, so I think if you fat. just light it, and apparently it like melts. Well, the fat melts. Well, yeah, because the entire really cool. candle is made out of the fat from the duck. And isn't isn't so that kinda... how they were, candles were made also in, in medieval times, maybe, oh, maybe. From, yeah, from something like that? Yeah. So maybe it's an old. I don't, I don't know, but yeah. I've been. Have you guys been? No. Uh, I've been once, and it's super good. It's like a different type of like hot Experience? pot, obviously, because yeah. like, I mean, I'm Chinese, and we do hot pot a bit differently. So it's like our soups are different, and like all that kind of stuff. But I think it's great. And right next door, they have the ice cream spot. Oh, I know. I, I have tried the dip, dip, dip ice cream. <laughs> yes, they're so good, especially if you yeah. kind of like like it's Asian like kind of flavors. Level yes. Really? So, I mean, like they do like great shakes, Sundays. and yeah, so good. I, I do want to go to dip, dip, dip Tatsuya, especially hopefully it gets like cold maybe soon. Yeah. Yes. Maybe. Couple 16. weeks. Yeah. <laughs> this weekend. Perfect. We'll go there and then we'll have our movie night. We were talking about movie night earlier yeah. today. Oh, so, have you seen Ghost? Ghost. Ghost? Ghost? Okay. I'm have in. you seen it? No. Okay. Kelly hasn't seen, seen it either, like apparently. Because so. they're thinking about doing a remake. Well, a Ghost okay. is like yeah. from 1995 oh. or something. Yeah. No. Patrick Swayze, Demi Moore. We don't. Okay. Yeah. So, okay. You, you know, you've done the pottery thing, so you got. Half the movie down. She has no idea. Oh, someone did mention that when I was doing the pottery, and I was like, giggled. No, like but I remember there's that place that they're going to take a photo. Remember they took oh, a photo? Oh, yes, yes. They're going to do the, that 
recreate the photo. Yeah, yeah, recreate those. And then you get to make the. Yeah. yeah. Oh, she, cool. she talked about it during my segment. I just said that sounds great. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, you know, we're all about South by Southwest here in Austin, but in yeah. Utah, it's all about Sundance. Mm. I got a chance to chat with one of the people in charge of programming about this year's festival. That's Adam Montgomery, and the festival's back to being in person this year, but most of the films are also going to be available to be viewed online. So you can get your tickets on sale now. The information can be found below this video. Um, it's kind of interesting. Adam's actually from Texas. Um, he was, I believe he said he was born in Kerrville. And then he um, spent some time in Fredericksburg. And then his dad taught at St. Edwards, I think he said. Okay. So it was kind of cool. So speaking with him, he was talking about a lot of the films. Like this one you're seeing some video of. Um, it is um, some Mexican-American um, Texas natives who did a documentary about um, mariachi A South Texas festivals. mariachi yes. band oh, really? coming to do the mariachi festival. Yes. So that, he said that one's going to be kind of cool to watch. Um, there's also um, this movie with um, Randall Park. He, um, you might know him from like the MCU movies, mm -hmm. and then he also was in like um, Fresh Off the Boat. He was on that Netflix show, Blockbuster and stuff. But he has a film, his directorial debut. Oh, he does. Okay. And then uh, there's also like a Willie S Willie Nelson docu series, like a five part, mm -hmm. and they talked to like his family and stuff like that. So it's supposed to be like a very in depth look at Willie. So uh, yeah, I think it, I don't know. Sundance looks like there's gonna be a lot of cool stuff going on. Well, Park City is just an amazing oh, yeah. town as well. So a great chance to get out there and experience yeah. that. Especially if you can't obviously can't go to Utah. Or what? Well, maybe you can before Thursday. You can check it's out the so film. Beautiful there. Let me check so beautiful. Are <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you looking up for my flight right now? There. Oh yeah. yeah. In Utah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, oh, funny. but it takes place in Montana. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. Okay. It's always so weird to me when they do that. Yeah. You know, they're like, what was it? I just saw something where they're talking about the whole film set in New York, but they filmed it in Toronto. Mm. Wow. I feel like a lot gets filmed in Canada yeah. because yeah. of the taxes. It's okay. it's it's more tax accessible there. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yay, hey, hey, hey. We always love when Austin Monthly comes to visit, and editor Madeline Holborn joined us in the studio to talk about some of the things in the publications issue this month, like Dry January. Lots of local sips you can try, including Celso, St. Elmo's Brewing's Hot Water, and Slow Luck Non Alcoholic Spirits. This is like all you, Tara, right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm full in on Dry Jan. Whole 30 plant based restaurants in town include um, Sunny's Backyard, which has cashew kessel. So and non-meat spare ribs. Uh, tell us or tell us has veggie like cauliflower steak rather than a meat alternative and nori a vegan sushi spot. There's also disco, big theme in town, um, like heaven, wiggle room, and a 70s inspired club superstition. Casey interviewed Madeline. Yeah, there's she has a lot of stuff upcoming. Uh, no, there was a lot in there. In the so issue, sounded like a lot of up, yeah. fun stuff. Mm -hmm. We, and Jane and I, actually went to go check out that 70s inspired club recently, and it was pretty fun. So, Superstition. Yes. Yeah. I'm working on a segment there, but I'm like, how, I was asking their PR guy, like, hey, how do we want to feature a nightclub at 7 a.m.? <laughs> yeah, because yeah. uh, certainly most of the people that work there are probably not trying to wake up for morning show yeah. live shots. After yeah. their 3 p.m. 3 a.m. Closing probably mm -hmm. by the time they clean up. <laughs> yeah, yeah well, they could actually just come on by, right? Yeah, just yeah, just stay there. Yeah, just stay, there. Yeah, just stay yeah. there after your shift. But yeah, and all those like um, like non-meat restaurants. I think what Ooh, we always talk about when to try like Sunny's. The and, Nori like, one. Yeah. I want to try that vegan sushi spot, yeah. but I do love just every sushi spot. It'd be a good one too. Lots of fun places. Um, Speaking of healthy eating, I'm trying to eat healthy, but then yesterday I went out and hung out with the Girl Scouts because it's Girl Scout cookie time and there is one troop doing something really unique, the nation's first so cool. and only, the world's only scuba diving troop and uh, they're holding an underwater cookie booth here in Austin at Dive World Austin. You can check it out and I wanted to hop in the water so bad, you guys. That would have been so cool. But, uh -huh. Oh, if I just fell in. No, no, no. I mean, if you were like down there, I mean, it would have been funny. If you had fallen in, yeah. Yeah, yeah, you know, but I thought about it. Maybe. They're Been very good live TV. television. They're very yeah. ingenious to have come up with that. Uh, well, it all started as a joke. They said they told oh, really? me yesterday in between segments. They're like, they started as a joke. We're like, we should serve co cookies from underwater, and uh, well, they, they, they figured happen. it out. You send a torpedo down, like she's about to do. There's my order. Okay. Going down, thin mints, please, and uh, it's on waterproof paper. The girls at the bottom see it. They send the cookies back up. They have to take like a weight out of there. There's my lemonades. Um, How long does each person have to be down there for? I don't know. They the stay length down of the there. tank. They stay down. <laughs> the length of the tank. I guess. See someone waving down there. Airs out. Yeah. The place wow. They, it was so fun though. They were so passionate. And uh, you know, one of the gals that I was talking with, she has like 29 mm -hmm. different like diver certifications. Oh wow. I mean, these are. 
high school, women. Yeah. junior high women that are women. just so impressive That's and amazing. stepping it out is. of the box. So always love to break my healthy eating by supporting the Girl Scouts. You gotta do it, you gotta do it. You and you can just have one, you don't have to have a whole thing. Oh, I don't know. I know, it's hard if you open too, it, yeah. the whole sleeve is. I just wish they'd wait a little bit later. I know, year. like Not right on. after the holidays <laughs> when you're trying to get back to. It was like February yeah. 18th. That new raspberry one's pretty good. If you it was it. very yummy. I tried it, it's it only good. available online. It was online. very good. Um, it's very, okay. very, very good. Very good. Well, race fans, get ready. NASCAR's coming back to Austin. I know we're all excited. We got a preview of what we can expect as drivers Kyle Busch, Tyler Reddick, and Austin Sindrick drove around the Circuit Americas track for a Goodyear tire test. This was, yes, Tuesday, Monday? I think it was. Days are of all kinds. Monday. Yeah. yeah. Coda is going to host the uh, Echo Park Automotive Grand Prix on March 26th, and the race will air on Fox 7. I was out there last year with Tierra. Tierra actually got to do something fun with Tyler and Austin Monday this night. year, Monday night, too. Yeah. yeah, they did something a little extra. Kyle Busch wasn't there, but. Um, yeah, you guys went out and did a little I stayed out making, right? past my bedtime, and we were at Moffre on South Congress. Mm -hmm. So they were making cowboy hats, getting ready for Texas. So oh, really? we've got that interview locked down. We'll oh, air okay. it before uh, NASCAR at CODA. Nice. So excited to get to back that. out there. For yeah, we got a lot of great fun. NASCAR coverage coming up. So. Oh, that's yeah. fun. Yeah. NASCAR it's like three days box. event. like mm -hmm. Or not three days, but there's going to be like three events and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, right? like, like gonna uh, and Darius Rucker is going to be performing mm -hmm. before that's the race. So that's exciting. Ooh. Yeah, I remember last year was just such like fun like Vibes. event. Yeah, I love being. And out it's there. totally it's funny because like when we go out for F one, oh, it's a different, it's oh, a right. totally Completely different thing. Different yeah, different yeah. Vibe. That's I mean, you know event. it is, but then when you get yeah. out there, you're like, oh yeah, like it's just. But it was feels so. Different, but I didn't still remember so much fun, NASCAR yeah. Coda last year just being so laid back. Midland performed. Mm -hmm. I mean, they're just like so Austin, mm -hmm. but we'll be excited for that yeah, one. Yeah, it'll be a good time. I remember you can get details about all the stories we talked about in the links below this video. Thanks for watching the Good Day Austin Roundup. And subscribe to our channel and check out the rest of our content. Head to fox7austin.com. And uh, Good Day Austin starts each weekday morning at 4.30. We're always up to something fun, so we hope you will join us. Thanks for joining us, Tiara. Yeah, great to see yeah, you, Tiara. Yeah. It's nice yeah. to have someone like here that is out there doing it, so we don't yeah. have to just pretend. Yeah. Well, you know where to find me. <laughs>